Hello, friends. So today is just going to be a very, very informal, impromptu, chatty update type of video. I hope that's okay, but I thought it would be better to sort of give you guys some life updates, some channel updates, and things like that as we move into how things might change in the future in my life or YouTube, things like that in general. Um, some of you guys have maybe noticed that some things have already changed on the channel, such as me not uploading as frequently. Unfortunately, I just could not keep up with the three days a week of uploading with a full-time regular job, boyfriend and friends and family. So I did cut that back down to two days a while ago. And I think that so far that's been going okay. But then recently I did also cut out reading vlogs because I just wasn't in a mental state where I could be talking to a camera every single day. And when things were so hard, I just couldn't put on a front and a face to be happy and upbeat and positive to the camera because nobody wants to watch somebody who is seemingly depressed. So I have sort of cut out reading vlogs as consistently just for the time being until I can sort of catch my breath. I did do like a little weekend reading vlog still as I went on vacation with my family and then I did the, the New York vlog. But I do have some plans for some future reading vlogs that are a little bit more like secret TBR or themed, things like that. I've always struggled so much with trying to create that type of content, even though it's my very favorite content to watch because I can't read five books a week. I, I literally can't. It doesn't matter how hard I try. I cannot read five books per week. And so I'm sort of like gathering some ideas and thoughts of how I can pre-plan and film over a longer period of time to hopefully produce good content, a video of a longer reading vlog of certain types of books, themes, etc. So hopefully that will work out for me. That's definitely something that I would like to get to in the future. It's kind of been a goal of mine for a while. I just needed to figure out how to make it happen, I suppose, but I'm also okay with slowly but surely vlogging and not having to do the daily vlogs. Also, it got to the point where like, I'm so busy right now. My only times that I could vlog were like in the car. Um, like, it's not like I was being dangerous or anything, but that's just kind of annoying. Or as I'm waiting for my breakfast to cook in the morning, I just genuinely don't have other time. And I started thinking like, this is really bad content for me. Like nobody cares about what you're doing right now. And I don't have time to try to coordinate fun activities or things for you guys to watch me do because one, maybe I don't have the mental capacity for it or I'm just trying to do the bare minimum to get what I need done in life for that day or that week. So I think it's sort of a happy medium right now. They're kind of on pause and they will return in the future more drawn out so that it's not, we're waiting on the vlog of the week of, if that makes sense. I've also just hit such a burnout of the type of content that is successful on YouTube. And don't worry, I will get into like the personal life updates later on in the video. If you're curious about those things, you can stick around. A couple content creators that I follow have made videos recently regarding the content they make, what they desire, why they're creating content. And I have wanted to do something similar even before I saw those videos. So two of them being Simon from Savage Reads and Jalen from The Bar in the Bookcase. Thoroughly enjoyed both of their videos that they made on this type of subject. And I, it's not that mine thoughts are a carbon copy of like what they're sort of contemplating. But for me, I just feel like, where is my place on booktube? Because I don't want to do the things that you have to do to get the numbers and subscribers and things like that. And so I don't, but it is also a lot of work to put into something where you feel so stagnant and you don't see any payoff, like progression as far as the numbers and analytics and stuff like that go. Being that I definitely get way less views on my videos than I used to when I made like all fantasy content and a lot of just things that are so popular and so well loved by so many people are just videos I don't really have any interest in doing or watching. So I've just been sort of trying to come to terms with that and grappling those thoughts on my own. This isn't like a, oh, feel sorry for me. 
we're all doing our own thing here. This is just kind of like some things that I've been thinking about for a while because it's very disheartening, I suppose I suppose you could say, to put so much time and effort into something that you used to see grow so consistently that now is completely stagnant. But that's okay. Like I love all of you guys who are here. And so I've sort of come to the place where I'm like, you are just making content for those who love and support your channel. And that's enough at the end of the day. And so it really is. Like I really have decided that. So I've really gotten into a mood lately where I have noticed how my, I've really gotten to know my reading tastes and how they have changed. And I'm in such a fantasy mood lately. And I think it's because of a lot of the hardships going on in my life right now. I truly just need a place of escapism. And so it has been wonderful to reignite that passion for fantasy reading and escape into this world that you're completely lost in and you're not dealing with the outright problems of our day-to-day -day lives that I would face thematically in literary fiction books. Don't get me wrong, I will probably still read more literary fiction than fantasy going forward, but it feels wonderful. If you guys saw the last video that I put up, it was about my fall TBR, featured a ton of fantasy books that I definitely plan to get to this fall that I'm very excited about and I've been reading a lot of them recently and loving them. So that's sort of where I'm at with that. But I think I got so caught up too in the literary fiction aspect of book two. I got so excited about all of these books that were being discussed and I thought I should read them. And it led to a similar thing that took place when I learned about a lot of fantasy books from fantasy booktubers that I didn't enjoy the books. And I'm like, why am I spending my money on these books that I don't like? So now I've sort of come to learn what I like in fantasy books and what I like in literary fiction books. And it's been really helpful to sort of block out the influential voices of booktubers that I love and bookstagram accounts that I love and to be able to deliberate and say, you're not gonna like that book, girl, so don't pick it up because there are content creators, especially in the literary fiction world that I freaking love their channels love the way they discuss books, but we have completely opposite taste in books. So it's taken me a while to learn that as well. And so now I'm just really in this moment where I feel pretty confident in what I like to read. And I unfortunately still have some books on my physical TBR that I don't think I'm going to jive too well with because they were recommended from um, those booktubers I mentioned that I love, but we have opposite tastes. But I'm still going to try to do that. I'm, I'm working on reading down my physical TBR. And then after I do that, I am just sort of free to pick up whatever I want. So I do plan to do a video soon of books that I cannot wait to get to after I finish reading my physical TBR. So those are books that I don't own that I've been dying to read all summer since I've really been working on reading down that list. And I sort of don't even wanna count like all the books I hauled in New York City and things like that because those are new books I just brought in that I know that I'm really interested in that nobody influenced me to pick up other than myself. So that's kind of where I'm at with my reading taste right now and like why certain changes have been made on the channel. For my personal life, I, we've had a lot of family members with a lot of health issues this year. People very, very dear to me. I have a very small family. My grandparents uh, were some of the closest people to me, two of the most important people to me in my life. My two, My other grandparents have already passed on. They were my last living grandparents and I mean, they were like a second mother and father to me because we spent that much time with them and I loved them that much. And so in the beginning of August, actually the day I came home from New York City, I found out that my grandpa had passed away. I can't even believe how hard that it hit me and I haven't had to deal with death a lot. And so um, I did not cope with that well at all whatsoever. And 10, nine days later, my grandmother passed away. And so then I just refused to deal with any of it and led to a lot of other <laughs> problems. And I'm hoping, you know, we kind of got some closure at their funeral that was yesterday, but it's a lot of loss for our family in a, a short amount of time, especially with how close we were to them, but at least they're together. That's true love for you because they were together since my grandma was 14 and she was almost 80. So it's a lot of years of life they spent together. Um, as I said, I really have not had to lose anyone close to me in more than 10 years and so it's just a lot to deal with grief and that I've been very 
open about my eating disorder on the channel that I've had since I was 14 years old. So that's going on 16 years now. It has gotten so bad to the point where it's basically like debilitating and I can't, if I don't get treatment, um, soon i'm not gonna be able to work anymore uh there's a myriad of health actual like physical health issues that i won't get into i don't want this to be triggering for anybody but then the mental the mental part of it is uh absolutely paralyzing and so if i don't get help now i'm not even going to be able to do my job soon or like leave my house soon. Um, so I've been trying really hard to get accepted to an intensive outpatient treatment program, which in my state is nearly impossible and more than unaff unaffordable, but thankfully I have family that can help with that and who have been helping me try to find treatment centers with availability for trying to get treatment during work and stuff like that too, because I pay for my house and I can't just stop working and get in in patient treatment somewhere so of course this leads to I mean this intertwines with YouTube my regular job every aspect of my life every second of my day and I think that's just why mentally I did not have the capacity to vlog create the best content that I could when every single second of every single day revolves around my eating disorder and so I don't even know how to really talk about it because people that are in the same position as me, we like to do a lot of justifying, a lot of over explaining, a lot of things that aren't necessary and don't need to be said. Um, but obviously it's more than terrifying to get treatment um, while producing content for the world to watch online and videos, not to mention like seeing your body change and I've already gained a lot of weight back which is healthy, but the fears you have of somebody gaining weight on camera, like just different things, you know, that make it so hard. And I don't, I know that I could easily pause the YouTube channel and maybe that would have to happen in the future. I don't exactly know until I'm able to get treatment. It's unfortunate because the one place that we had found that I was going to proceed with it turns out they only offer help for binge eating disorder, which is not what I have. And so I couldn't do their program. So I have another interview um, this coming Thursday. So it will have already happened by the time you're seeing this. So fingers crossed for me for their intensive outpatient program, but that still requires me driving out of state every single week for one day a week. So I don't know once I start training somewhere, if they will say that I shouldn't be doing having a YouTube channel and vlogging and things like that. But as of right now, I'm in a place where I want to create some type of content still because the thing that has saved my life during this time, obviously Paul and my family, but it is books and reading and I sit in this library and I'm filled with happiness. Like I'm filled with my love of stories and fiction and nonfiction and books and living other people's lives through these going on adventures and learning things like this room is full of stories that have helped me live <laughs> and i love sharing that with you guys and so i definitely don't want it to be something that is completely gone from my life because i would miss that i really really would and i would hope that you guys would miss this channel <laughs> <laughs> if I stop making videos. So who knows what the future will look like temporarily because intensive outpatient treatment is a temporary thing. It's not a long-term thing. I mean, it, it wouldn't even be possible with the cost that one month of intensive outpatient treatment is. <laughs> I couldn't do it more than like two months. So just bear with me as there might be some changes over the next couple of months. And thank you for sticking by me and always supporting me. I appreciate your guys' love and support on all of my videos. And I, I, I really feel like now more than ever is a time that I can really appreciate getting lost in a book, but I have to toe the line carefully and not do what I tend to do and avoid life by getting lost in a book. Um, so yeah, if any of you guys are struggling, just know you're not alone. Also, if any of you guys ever want to chat about similar experiences, um, obviously like you can go to my bookstagram and DM me or chat in the comments. I'm trying to be very vague about my eating disorder because, um, I really just don't want it to affect anybody negatively or, you know, be triggering for anyone. But like, you can always talk to me about it because it is very actually 
very helpful for me to chat about it with people. Um, so those are most of the major, like all consuming <laughs> life updates. It's, um, it's really sad in this country in this year that people don't take eating disorders seriously. Um, and it's just always been something I've been outspoken about so that people don't feel alone. And it is, it is a shame how hard it is to get help because it's hard enough to take the first step to getting help. And so when somebody finally decides they want help, <laughs> but it's like nearly impossible to get, it's just sad. So I'm really hoping to find something that fits in somewhere that works so that I can make a change and keep existing. But yeah, those are most of the life and channel updates. I did not make this video so that anybody would feel sorry for me or give me any encouragement or pity me. It is simply just a, hey, in case you've noticed things have changed, they have, and here's why, because I like to be very open and upfront. And I just think that the transparency is good when you live so much of your life on the internet for viewers who feel involved in your reading life and in your day-to-day -day life, especially as somebody who has spent so much time vlogging and sharing like mental health updates and personal life updates and things like that. But as of right now, I still have lots of fun content that I'm very excited to film for you as much as I can over the upcoming months. I have lots of books that I'm very excited to be reading and checking out. And yeah, thank you guys for listening. I'll see you guys next time.